Hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoy this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, recently, I started one-on-one -on -one instruction uh, on my fast cooking system, uh, and I need to help someone who is cooking in the walk for the first time. So I came up with this two-part exercise. The first part of the exercise is to help him become familiar with the seasoning process using my spot seasoning method. Uh, the second part of the exercise is for him to test the results of the seasoning uh, by cooking an egg dish, which is also commonly known as the Fuyang egg. Okay, so let me show you the exercise. Uh, let's go into the kitchen and get started. Uh, so for this exercise, I'm going to point out as much as I possibly can of some of the nuances of each individual steps. I'm going to use four eggs to make this egg dish. As you notice that I'm using one of the Rubbermaid plastic container uh, to beat up the eggs. As you can see, those plastic containers has many functions in addition to storing preps in the refrigerator. I'm going to use something called a Danish whisk uh, to beat up the egg. It is an excellent device. It is probably the best whisk that I ever have, and I use it for mixing many different things. For stir fry, it is important to have everything ready. I took out some mushroom from the refrigerator that I have prepped in advance, and I also took out some just galleons. In addition, I got out my uh, cooking oil bottles, as well as some salt and pepper. And so for this exercise, I'm going to use my 14-inch uh, Emusa light cast iron wok. And this wok is excellent for a flat glass top electric range. And the amount of time that you uh, heat up the wok is really not critical, but however, you want the wok to be hot enough that when you put water into the wok, uh, they will immediately form this little beads bouncing around like ping pong balls. Uh, of course, you don't need to do that each time. You just want to have a rough idea that the wok is hot enough. Uh, the next, I'm going to put some cooking oil into the wok. Uh, heating up the cooking oil is actually more important. Uh, you want to make sure that the cooking oil covers the entire bottom surface of the wok. Uh, here is my stainless steel wok spatula. Uh, it's very important to have this tool for stir fry. Uh, I'm going to heat up the oil until it starts to smoke uh, slightly. Uh, this is my spot seasoning method. You can take a look at this video to get more information about this approach. Uh, at this point, make sure you turn the heat to low or shut the heat off completely. Because you don't want the oil to smoke too much. Uh, here now comes the test when the egg is being added to the wok. Now, if the wok is not well seasoned, the egg will stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, as you can see, in this case, the egg does not stick at all. So what I'm doing is that I push the cooked egg from the edge to the center of the wok. And let me repeat this part again in slow motion so you can see what is going on. Uh, first of all, you should notice that as soon as I add the egg to the wok, uh, the egg starts to bubble immediately. And this is a very good sign. It suggests that the egg did not stick to the bottom of the wok. And next, when I push the cooked egg from edge of the wok to the center, uh, you notice that I will expose the bottom surface of the wok. And the uncooked egg will fill in that space. Uh, this is an important technique because it allows you to cook the egg very rapidly. I fill the center of the egg with sliced mushroom as I would do when I cook an omelette. And then I follow by adding some uh, scallions. Uh, you can skip this step if you don't have them available. Uh, I next then fold the egg over the ingredients in the same way as uh, I would be making an omelette. Uh, however, uh, except in this case, uh, I don't have to uh, worry about to enclose everything uh, inside the omelette. Uh, after folding the egg over the ingredients a few more times, I'm now ready to season it. Uh, I'm going to use uh, some salt and then follow by uh, with some black pepper. Uh, of course, you can season the dish any way that you would like to. So after mixing it a few more times, uh, the dish is ready. Uh, this dish in many ways is a, a cross uh, between an omelette and scrambled egg. Uh, the dish is probably one of the fastest stir-frying dish that I have ever seen. Uh, this Fuyang egg dish is probably one of the most popular dish in the Chinese home cooking. 
As you can see, in order to make this dish properly, the seasoning of the wok is critical. Uh, the non-stick surface of the wok is vital in order to able to fold the egg in the way how I have shown you. If the egg stick to the surface of the wok, uh, it definitely will create a big mess. Uh, finally, I garnish the dish with a little bit of oyster sauce, but that is totally optional. As you can see here, the seasoning of the wok works really well. Uh, at the end, uh, nothing sticks to the surface of the wok. In fact, there are more things uh, that have stuck to the wok spatula. Uh, cleaning the wok in this case could not be any uh, simpler. I use a palmara brush uh, to clean the wok. Uh, the bristle is made up of natural palm materials. Uh, after a few quick brush, uh, the wok is cleaned. Uh, next, I use a, a sponge uh, to wipe off the uh, surface fluid. Uh, I then switch to uh, something known as a um, sponge cloth. It actually is made out of sponge materials, but it's shaped like a cloth, so it has great absorbent property. Uh, this will allow me to avoid using paper towels. And now the wok is all ready to be stored away. Uh, you can see that I also wipe the bottom surface of the wok. It is important to dry the wok as thoroughly as possible before you store it. So as you can see here, uh, cleaning the wok is very simple and straightforward. Uh, you don't need to do anything else more before you store the wok. Before, because if you look at the surface of the wok, it looks shiny. It suggests that it has a layer of oil coating on it and that will prevent it from rusting. And when the wok looks like this, you know that it will not rust uh, during storage. If you are new in cooking in the wok, uh, this might be an exercise that you might want to give it a try. Uh, I have been using this exercise uh, for my students in my in-person cooking classes. Uh, my students find it really helpful uh, for them to understand the process of seasoning a wok and what the end result should be. Uh, in this video, I try to include as many details as I possibly could. However, I know I possibly uh, might miss something that might not be obvious to you. Uh, if that is the case, uh, please write me at this following email address. Uh, it is much easier for me to answer you by email. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.